In the heart of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya lies Hell's Gate Park. Well known for its cliffs and the rich diversity of wildlife, including giraffes and buffaloes. But its name comes from these mysterious steaming rocks, a natural phenomenon that has captured the fascination of geologists. The steam here is too hot, something close to around to 120 degrees is too hot and it's likely to be coming from the reservoir, which is deep-seated, around 1,000 1, meters. The Rift Valley is highly fractured due to volcanic activities. The fluids use those fractures at the conduits to, to come out. In Kenya, this heat is considered a national treasure and a gift from nature. It can be used to produce electricity thanks to energy plants. Geothermal energy is one of the most abundant sources of power on the planet, second only to solar. But its potential still remains largely untapped. The steam comes from the production wells, enters the scrubber, uh, then moves on this giant pipe. Cyrus Karingati is a pioneer of geothermal energy. He's worked as an engineer at this plant for some 24 years. There are five plants in total on the site and a sixth in construction. Together, they meet a third of Kenya's total energy needs. This is the most important part of the power plant. Here we have the turbine and the generator. It is the best least cost energy because it is indigenous, it is safe and it is environmentally friendly. Across the African continent, around half of the population doesn't have access to electricity. And this abundant source of renewable energy could be the answer. But Kenya still lacks the necessary capital to commercialize the resource. Meanwhile, the European Investment Bank has loaned some 290 million euros over the past 40 years into the sector. And it's starting to pay off. One square kilometer is 15 megawatts. The driving motive is not only the climate uh, impacts and mitigations thereof, but also the impacts on the people. Why is that important? Because of the, again, the other challenges which Europe has had. Migration, conflict resolution. Energy is an enabler. It's an enabler for development. But, uh... Over the past decade, Europe has invested over 26 billion euros across the continent five of which were earmarked for green projects. In a few months' time, the power plant will be operating at full capacity and Olkaria will be the largest geothermal plant in the world.